Welcome to our video presentation on Rational Developer for Z with EGL. In this particular video, we're going to explore an error message that our copy library is missing. This is part of a course that is called Essential Web Services with CICS COBOL for ZOS. In our ZOS local project called COBOL Sample 1, our COBOL source code is stored in a COBOL folder, and our copy books are stored in a folder called Copy Live. When we build our project, we get an error message. Now the significant error message here is that the copy library was not found. So let us resolve that problem. To resolve that problem, we'll go to the property group view. And under our local uh, property groups, we'll right click on local and create a new property group. We'll call the property group the same name as our local ZOS project. Under categories, we want to have our local COBOL settings. We don't need local PL1 settings. And we want local link options. On the link tab, we want to build an executable. And the link options are valid, so we'll go to the COBOL tab. Now we'll notice that the syslib property is actually missing. The syslib property has to be filled in with a directory name in order to find our COBOL copy books. So we start out with the name of the workspace, which is c colon backslash lab backslash rdz. And then the name of our project, COBOL sample1. And then the name of the folder that contains our copy books, which is copy live. So there, there is the name of our copy library. Now if we run the rebuild project again, we'll still get the same error. The copy library is not found because after we create a property group, we need to associate that property group with our project. And it is simply a matter of checking that property group in the list. Now, when we rebuild our project, it should be built correctly with no, any error messages. So that is how to resolve that one problem of the copy library is missing. Thanks for watching.